how to raise your vibration through all my channeling and all my information that's come through i see time and time again on raising your vibration this is just a human experience okay when you learn how the universe works and this is part of the enlightenment that i found it all works the opposite so you're not actually raising your vibration you are letting go of that which is causing you not to feel connected it's like you're a drop of water and you have a calling to be part of the ocean. But really, you have the ocean within that drop of water. So it's not even about the case of becoming one with the water again. It's understanding that you are already the ocean in a drop of water. Another way of looking at it. If everything is flowing to you, if everything is coming to you, if you are part of everything, why would you need to raise your vibration? Now, you might be thinking that, okay, if I'm being a little bit sad today, I might need to make myself happy. But that sadness is releasing, that's stopping you from being happy. Are you starting to see the opposite way of how it works? So, when you try hard you stop the flow of energy. Within us all is a neutral energy and it's what we put to it, it becomes. So when you release your emotions, when you sit in nature, when you let go of your negativity, when you allow the automatic flow in your body, when you stop resisting, when you stop trying to control things, when you stop blaming others, when you stop tapping into that, which is not part of the automatic flow, which is not the, the, the vibration of the universe, then it's like when you place an order. If there's no resistance and blocks to having what it is, if you're already connected to that which you can have, then the only reason why you haven't got it is because you're resisting having it. So you're vibrating not to have, because you're already part of everything. You're already the pure energy. You are, are already have what it is. And it's only your perception or your thought or your feeding it. You're only in debt because you've not allowed the opportunity to not be in debt. And so you, you are vibrating this worry of debt. And so you're seeing more debt. So you're attaching to more debt. So you're creating more debt. Are you starting to see now... The vibra higher vibration, it is not. The highest vibration is neutral energy. Nothing. There's more nothing in the world than there is something. There's more nothing that makes everything balanced, makes everything automatic, makes everything complete. So when you raise your vibration... That is just a human need, a human want, a human thought. And yes, it might ignite you to try something or do something different. But the problem is you'll always come back to the lack. Because you've separated from by thinking or your perception that you're just a drop of water. When you don't understand that the drop of water has the ocean already in it because it's already part of the ocean. And so the more we search for stuff, the more we think that we have to have stuff, when we get it, we want more. And so we want to, something else. And we're not truly happy with what we've got. You're too busy looking for a partner to make you happy. When unless you are happy, you're not going to attract a partner who's also happy. The world works in the opposite direction. This is what I've found. Everything is relative. Everything makes up a big picture. You know, like a jigsaw puzzle. 
until you have all the pieces, how do you know what the big picture looks like? And so you're searching for all these pieces to put in this jigsaw, when really you started out with the big picture. And it's you taking away the pieces that's making it less and less perfect. Less and less of a vibration. The purest vibration that's part of everything is neutral. The automatic flow of everything that's part of everything is what heals you, what helps you, what supports you, what brings balance. These are automatic things. You automatically breathe in life. Why? Is it because you are part of a higher vibration? Is it because you're part of some wonderful... No, your body automatically breathes. And when it can't breathe, it's because you're blocking it from breathing. You're blocking it. So if you want a higher vibration, then take all the stuff away that's stopping you from vibrating. Take your fears away. Get into the automatic flow. Do stuff that aligns you with the universe. Stop feeding the lack. Stop feeding the hate and all the other stuff that stops the flow in life. You know? We can let go of all of this in a moment. You can get back to the moment and then all of a sudden, in this moment, you're only ordering for the next moment. And all of a sudden, depending on your energy in this moment, will depend on your life. And then suddenly you see a whole different way. You're not raising any vibration to do that. You're getting back to who you are. You're getting back to the connection of yourself. You're aligning the mind, body and soul. In what way? Well, some think that the mind, body and soul is separate. It only separates when it's having to deal with the negativity of the body. And so it all will focus and start sending messages to your brain, to your body, to your soul, to get sorted because you're holding on to stuff that's not part of the universe. You're resisting, you're blocking, you're sabotaging, you're blaming, you're, you're doing all the things that are just not aligning yourself with the universe. And so then you create lessons. But then the big picture to the lessons is that often our lessons that we come with is actually who we are. So once we free ourselves from our programming and our lessons, we can actually then live and be who we are. And then all of a sudden we're more aligned with the universe, not because we've raised our vibration. We've got back to being a child again, a learning machine, already connected. We've moved from the little pond back into the ocean. Or, if we're enlightened, we recognise that even by being just ourselves, we can be automatically aligned with everything. And then, when we're flowing, we find that we're automatically enjoying life, we're automatically happy. We get into that energy that has no resistance or blocks. We get into that frequency or that vibration that is, becomes the solution and not the problem. We no longer focus on negative. We're no longer bothered that we're not in a relationship or, or anything. Because when you are in a good relationship, it's a shared experience. You feel part of the universe. You feel the automatic love that flows through both of you. You ignite this neutral energy that's in both of us. And it expands. It's not a higher vibration. Yes, there's different vibrations for different timelines, for different centuries. But that's just the way it's like a radio. You know, you've got to tune into the, the certain vibration or the certain frequency to hear that particular. So if you want into the 16th century, you have to tune into that particular vibration. So is the river a different vibration to the ocean? This is a very interesting point because they're both part of the same. They both go from the land 
to the sea and the sea to the land, do they lose their vibration? So what happens if you are automatically a higher vibration? Do you then have to become a lower vibration to balance? A higher vibration is the person trying to get you to do something, but it doesn't take away from what you've become. It doesn't take away of who you are. Imagine yourself connected to everything. So good things, bad things, everything. But you can tap into the soul of an object or a person. That soul wants to support you, love you and care for you. That soul is part of sharing in the experience of the ones. It doesn't want to judge you, it doesn't want to blame you, it doesn't want to do anything. So then you are connected to everything through the soul's connection or the inner energy within you. So you're not raising your vibration, it's already there. It just has no resistance and blocks, it has no attachments. Because you've got into, it's like a river. You can flow down the river, or you can swim upstream. Swimming upstream is the higher vibration. Or is it? Going with the flow. Being guided. Being taken on your journey. Do you go further? Do you go faster? Can you actually be part of both and still be connected? These are all the questions you've got to ask yourself when you search for a higher vibration. So many people are searching to be oneness or enlightened. They're taking themselves away from being, the state of being, which then ignites the automatic flow. If you want to be happy, be the energy of happy. Don't want to need things to make you happy. Because that only lasts for a certain amount of time. You know, when you're in a relationship, when you find somebody in a relationship who brings peace to your life, they'll always bring peace to your life. If you're looking for somebody to complete you, you're always searching to be completed. And then after six months, when you think that this person was the perfect person because they had everything that you wanted, that was because your mind was showing you what you wanted to see, not what was actually happening. The person seems to, to do things that you want them to do. Why? Because they're reflecting. They're reflecting what you're putting out. They're reflecting your vibration. And so, yes, when you understand this, that everything is automatically come to you, you already have within you the purest, neutral energy and what you put to it, what you put to the light within you, what you put to the source within you is how you're going to then vibrate to the world. What, and then people will show you the same as what you're vibrating. So have to be a higher vibration. Would that not be taking yourself away from being the energy that's part of everything? Wanting to have millions of pounds. Will that not take you away from all the people who haven't got a million pounds? 90% of the world is worried about debt and worries. So when you search to be rich, you're tapping into the 90% that are poor. And so when you become the state of being, you then become the solution. You then find that you there's an automatic flow and then you don't have no resistance to receiving or getting whatever it is that brings peace and balance so look out for more information and i will talk to you again